All right, we're going to work on our clutch now on our tractor, 44 John Deere A. Uh, our cylinder head is out to the repair shop to be repaired. And uh, since I don't have that, I'll work on something else. Um, this is your clutch drum. I didn't take it apart, but I did clean it inside, clean the bearing. Uh, everything looks okay, the dogs look alright, the clutch worked alright when the tractor was running, so I didn't have an issue with it. Um, there's a bearing inside here, and I cleaned it, and I've greased it. Now, you would think there'd be a seal here, but there is not. It's some sort of mechanical seal. And John Deere uses a lot of mechanical seals. They don't use rubber seals. I might lose my battery here while I'm talking to you. Um, so I haven't seen a rubber seal. I just seen a I just seen a mechanical seal. Uh, they use it on the side of the engine uh, for the crankshaft as a kind of a kind of a worm gear, and it pushes the oil back into the engine and the other side the flywheel side is also a mechanical seal anyways we've cleaned this up I've sanded the surface to knock uh, knock the junk off of it I'm not going to have it machined because it worked to begin with I'm trying to get out of this as less as possible I've uh, sanded this I just used my orbital sander and a 150 disc just sand it to knock the knock the uh, the junk off of it both sides of course when we go back together we want to make sure the indexing mark goes on this so this drum is going to have to go on first and in order to get the drum on you have to take the rear wheel off once you get the drum on and slid in place then you can put the the actuator rod and the, the pivot I don't know what quite what it's called but I'll show you that uh, and then you can put the innards in it of course there's a clutch facing that goes in there first and then the driver and then another clutch facing and then this goes on there and you tighten the bolts up and uh, that should make your clutch operate um, let's have a look at something else as well when you put the clutch on you have to jack your tractor up um, be very careful jacking your tractor up I have mine in neutral but I have one of the brakes set because I have this one break off, literally off the tractor. And I have a wedge in the front tire so it can't move forward. Now this looks like a Rube Goldberg affair with a couple of blocks of hardwood there. But I've got a jack. I've got that. I'm going to put a floor jack, or I'm going to put a another jack underneath there, jack stand. Always leave your way, self a way out. I'm going to take these lug nuts off and cock the tire. I'm going to leave one on back here. I'm going to cock the tire, go around front, slide the clutch on, then come back and put the tire on. I'm not going to work on the clutch with it, with it jacked up. I just want to get it so it clears that tire. So we'll get that going. But be very careful. These tires weigh a lot. You want to leave yourself a way out so you're not trapped. Uh, I've got a good back plan here. Uh, my wife's home in case anything happens. I have my cell phone. All these things you must think safety or oriented, especially when you're when you get old you can't move like you could when you were young, that's for sure. So we're gonna do that and get that clutch on.